But let's dive in. Let's see what Corday and M was doing on this one. This is the perfect thing to get Eminem. Now I see why he's got M on this. M is gonna body this beat, bro. Listen, I ain't even ready for this. Let's go. Let's go. Comment your favorite bar down below. Then seen some shit within my lifetime, my light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when a python strike. My first mistake was doing robberies on Nikon bikes. Watch my moves and I'ma show you what an icon like. Y'all let bikes be bikes, okay. right? Okay. Nigga, fuck your truce, bust your move. And if that nigga touch your shoes, you better blast on him. And know my mama nigga, I'ma get that cash on him. Hunted on a dash on him, swerve. Born from the trench, you from the birds, nigga. Fuck the early bird, nigga. I'ma get this motherfucking chicken. And if a nigga ever got a problem, nigga, we can fucking solve it on my mama, nigga. I just been itching to prove myself. I just pray throughout the struggle. I don't lose myself. Block no safety plaques and coat. I might shoot myself. They catching bullets like two Odells. And nigga, you gon' tell. But I can tell you about the time. Okay, I like how he started to get into this. The way he started off in the beginning is cool. Like he's like it sounds good. The flow was there and stuff. But it was a lot of like just very if you do that, I'm a, I'm a mama nigga. Like, it's a lot of, like, things that you've heard a million times over in rap. And I'm not trying to hate on him because it sounds really dope. And in every other setting, I'd say this is cool. But you're on a track with an Eminem feature. And not many people get this opportunity. And you may never get this opportunity again. Who knows? Who knows? I just feel like, bro, you got to come with the raw. Every bar got to be the raw shit in the world. It don't have to have double, triple entendres. It'd be super complex. But I feel like just stay away from some of the, the bars that are very, like, you've heard many times in different ways of saying it. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Hopefully people don't get mad at me for saying that because I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong. Technically, this shit sounds dope. But it's just one of those things where there's certain people, when you collab with them, you gotta change some things. That's all I'm saying. When it comes to M, sometimes you gotta change some things. I was going hard up in the paint, and I can tell you shit that other niggas can't. Let me tell you, I can tell you by the time I had to drop a nigga rank, and I can tell you shit I did up off the drink. Let me tell you, I can tell you by the time I signed a deal for 20 bands and used that shit to get my brother out the can. Let me tell you, I can tell you by the time I had a penny in the plan, I can tell you shit, but you won't understand. Let me tell you. First nigga. and foremost, for every door that's open, the door closed. Be the nigga, take his borders, upgrade my wardrobe. And Lord knows, living like this, it leaves a short road, a dead end, or prison time where we was heading. Instead, when I got bread, broke it with brethren, eyes open, leave the house, move like a veteran. Made a couple dollars from commas, my niggas flexing. Nigga got a problem that I can make some corrections. Okay, cool. Still with the same niggas since grade school. Give a fuck about your shade room when I had made room for everybody on that late moon. and were the race room. Had to bring the motherfucking swank on them. And I ain't even wanna have to blank on them. That lamb truck got a full tank. Like, there's nothing that's got me like, oh. And I feel like when you rap with Eminem, you've got to get a lot of, oh, in your verse. Am I wrong? I don't know. Like, I heard that he went off on the, um, on the, what is it? They did the, the radio freestyle thing recently. He did like a Kodak black beat or something. I just saw, I saw No Life Shaq reacted to it and maybe somebody else. If you think I should check that out and that's going to have what I'm looking for, let me know. Because I know Corday is nice. I'm not hating on this man at all. I'm, I'm a fan. I like this man. And some of the stuff I've heard from him, amazing. Uh, but this, I just feel like when you're on a track with Ember, you need a lot of wow factor. And I just don't feel I'm getting that right now not look at I me gotta wrong. be honest There's certain shit that I can't say on this song but let me tell you nigga. I can tell you about the time was going hard up in the paint like I like the con the concept of the I could tell you this I could talk I like the concept of it I just don't feel it's just not giving me the wow factor that I want with an Eminem track and I can tell you shit that other niggas can't let me tell you I can tell you about the time I had to drop a nigga rank and I can tell you shit I did up off the drink let me tell you I can tell you about the time I signed a deal for 20 bands and used that shit to get my brother out the can let me tell you like I like I I like it. I can tell you shit, but you won't understand. Let me tell I you, some shit within my lifetime. At one time, I can still remember just how bad I used to want five mics. My biggest dream was just to make it in the unsigned hype. It's so hard for Yo. me to fathom this was once my life. Yeah. Should I make Yo, listen, okay, so for me, the reason why the intro to Eminem's verse is so amazing, and everybody that's obviously been around rap for a while, you're already gonna know what I'm talking about, but when he said how he used to want the five mics, that was the Source magazine, which at one point, getting five mics, it was literally literally the pinnacle of rap like if you got five mics in that magazine it meant something your album was literally a classic in hip-hop and then it started to get you know 
Benzino didn't give himself five mics. Like they 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 ruined it and they then that it stopped meaning something. But at one point that was that was the goal. Like y'all want five mics in the Source magazine, and I want to say unsigned hype. I, I believe was double XL. If I'm if I'm correct, because I, I so I might be mixing. I mixed the two up a little bit, but I know Source was definitely the um the five mics. But double XL I want to say was the unsigned hype. I could be wrong. It might have been the Source, but double XL had something like this. That might be why I'm be mixing it up. But I the, yo I remember back in the day like I would get these when I was a kid. My wall was covered with just pages from the double XL magazines. I would just put picture after picture. My whole entire wall was just layered with pictures from these magazines. Like, oh man, I loved that time. And that was that was what you wanted. You wanted to get in a magazine. You wanted to be on unsigned hype. You wanted a five five mic album. You want like that's what you that's what you strived for back then. So this this is really really dope to hear him put this in the song. Some shit within my lifetime. At one time I can still remember just how bad I used to want five mics. My biggest dream was just to make it in unsigned hype. It's so hard for me to fathom this was once my life. Should I make you wanna cop out? Like a plea deal, yeah. so I treat you like a stakashi. Spit on that bitch like. Hey, what did you? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was once my life. Yeah. Should I make you wanna cop out like a plea deal? Yeah. So I treat you beat like a stakashi. Spit on that bitch like big milk. My addiction got me weak will. Yep. He said I treat a beat like a stakashi. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Make it in the unsigned hype. What? It's so hard for me to fathom this was once my life. Yeah. Should I make you wanna cop out like a plea deal? Yeah. So I treat you beat like a stakashi. Spit on that bitch like big milk. My addiction got me weak will. Yep. Lapsing, I think I can't seem to stop eating beat pills and Dr. D.R.E. He still keeps on giving me refills That whole scheme was fire spit out and like yo the amount of stuff that he referenced re Reference I can't get my words out and tied in together right there Kashi spit on that bitch like big milk. My addiction got me weak will. Yep. I'm relapsing. I think I can't seem to stop eating beat pills and Dr. D.R.E. He still keeps on giving me refills like yo Oh my God! I I'm, I have to listen to it like a billion times. Like the Takashi spit on it, like Meek Meek Mill, uh, the diction. The, uh, where did he go? Where did he go from there? I already forget. I already forget. But what I liked the best was the whole like when he said like the uh, beat pills, the beat pill, the the speaker, Dr. Dre, the relapse his album, Dr. Dre giving him re like yo. This is yo. I'm just see. I'm is, is I, I I I'm gonna be honest with you. And some people might not like this. I personally, I still do prefer old school M, but that's what i grew up on so it's like a nostalgia thing i just liked when he just rapped about such wild stuff but writing wise m has elevated so much over the years it's ridiculous and that's where i get confused people oh i mean is, isn't as good as he used to be actually technically he's better i can't deny that he's technically better his writing has evolved to a point where it's 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 absolutely insane his flow switches, like he is technically a better artist, but that nostalgic early on M, it just, it, it set such a, a fire into the world that people have it stuck in their head and it's hard for them to let go of that. That's really what it is. Me even, me too even, but like I, but I have appreciation for his writing ability and all the technical stuff that he's elevated beyond what most if not any other artists are doing anymore you really got to respect that you really have to so i treat you beat like a stakashi spit on that bitch like big milk my addiction got me weak will i'm relapsing i think i can't seem to stop eating beat pills and dr dre he still keeps on giving me refills cinema me humble to indiscriminately women and men and little kids senior citizens to the sick is empty with gen z into a frenzy but no gift is in me why i'm stingy and that is the motherfucking difference between them and me that's the reason i'm my Louis Vuitton. What am I? Gloria than Eva Long. Yeah. The scrap shit is so. For the way he read, yo, it's so different. I have a question though. So I'm, I'm curious what you guys think about this. So obviously, him and him and Cordae are rapping very different on this. In reality, I don't feel like it meshes that well. If that makes sense. And, and another track that would remind me of that would be Conway and Eminem. I, I'm not saying Eminem didn't do his thing or Conway didn't do his thing, but they rap so differently on it and they and they just approach things so differently that it almost seems like a weird mesh. Does anybody else feel that way sometimes? Because like I said, I feel like Corday did his thing on this. I do feel like you got to say some more wow factor stuff if you're on a track with M, regardless of if you guys rap differently or not, just because you're bringing a whole load of Eminem fans on to listen, and this is your chance to wow them. That's more so where I'm coming from with that. But it's just the way Eminem is rapping to this and the way Corday rapped to it is just so vastly different. Both of them sound good on the beat, but when you put it together, it almost just has a weird mesh. It just kind of seems odd if that makes any sense i don't know if i'm the only one that feels that way but you guys let me know beat pills and dr dre he still keeps on giving me refills cinema me humble to indiscriminately women and men and little kids senior citizens to the sick is empty with gen z into a frenzy but no gift is in me why i'm stingy and that is the motherfucking difference between them and me that's the reason i'm 
My I missed something. He said something about a gift. I, yo, there's something there that I missed. You guys comment down below. I ain't afraid to tell you. I don't know what the hell, but there's something there, I'm sure. Stingy, yeah. and that is the motherfucking difference between Ooh. them and me. That's the reason I'm my Louis Vuitton. What am I? Warrior than Eva Long. Yeah. The scrap shit is something that you'll never see me at. Like senior prom. Wait a minute, what, what I mean is the bars but higher than Cheech and Chong. Yeah. We give them each a bomb. <laughs> yeah. I call my stanza fan club. Whoever it's unleashed upon. Yo, listen, everybody should watch some Cheech and Chong in your life. I know it's old, but you should definitely get some of that in your life. Like senior prom. What I mean is the bars higher than Cheech and Chong. When you give them each a bomb, I call my stanza fan club. Cause whoever it's unleashed upon. Fucking beats a bond. Like police batons. Y'all are y'all are window shoppers, shoppers. Bunch of peeping times. Still got that bullseye on my back. Red dot on my head. Yeah, blood on my hands. For some of the rhymes that I've said. Police squad in the task. Got him hot on my trail. Like my stepfather with the belt. I got swat on my ass. I was painfully shy. Now I'm proud of myself. Like like Obama's kids. I came out of my shell. And I can promise this on my mama. Shit. No daughters, bitch. Here we go. Every single word to be true. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. He says so many things. Got him hot on my trail, like my stepfather with the belt. I got swat on my ass. I was painfully shy. Now I'm proud of myself. Like like Obama's kids. I came out of my shell. And I can promise this on my mama. Shit. Yo, now I'm proud of myself. Like Obama's kids. I came out of my shell. My shell, Michelle. Bruh, there's so much of that packed into this verse. There's inevitably a bunch that I haven't even caught. And that's what I mean by his writing, technically, has gotten so good. It's to the point where it's like, I'm sorry, but if someone listens through an Eminem verse one time and they catch every single thing that he does, they lied to you, bro. There's no way. There's no way. There's just, there's just no way. That, to, me, to me, that's a disrespect to Eminem because he's so complex and so good with it at this point. To think that somebody can just listen through on one listen and just catch every single thing he did is just, that's ridiculous to me. That's just ridiculous to me. So anyways, I'm okay with missing stuff. You guys fill me in as you go through different reaction videos or you've heard it a few times or you caught something I didn't catch on the first go. Let me know in those comments, baby, because I like to go through and check those out. Kids, I came out of Michelle, and I can promise this on my mama. Shit. Here we go now. Every single word to be true, so without further ado, it's return of the group. This more murderous than mook is. So what you're gonna do? Think I'm allergic when I point this motherfucking burner at you? I throw shade, it'll be curtains for you. Pray for the bird. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He always saying so much. I got swat on my ass. I was painfully shy. Now I'm proud of myself. Like like Obama's kids. I came out of my shell. And I can promise this on my mama. Shit. No daughters, bitch. Here we go now. Every single word to be true, so without further ado, it's return of the group. This more murderous than mook is. So what you're gonna do? Think I'm allergic when I point this motherfucking burner at you? I throw shade, it'll be curtains for you. Pray for the birds to get through birth of a new worse than me. Who's determined to do permanent damage with the words that I threw birth of you? I'm referred to as Zeus Circle and you like I'm a vulture features or tournaments I turn Ooh, up. I'm referred to as Zeus Birds of You referred to Whoa, this whole scheme is wild. Fucking burner at you. I throw shade, it'll be curtains for you. Pray for the birds to get through birth of a new worse than me. Who's determined to do permanent damage with the words that I threw birth of you? I'm referred to as Zeus Circle and you like I'm a vulture features or tournaments I turn them into turning me loose is like verbal abuse language hurt for the use curse and it's you made a couple of mistakes that occurred in my youth jump the hurdle the two word but i'm doing with telling you about the food stamps and the government cheese and how we used to get school lunches for free I already told you about the holes up in my pony shoes and rustle of jeans when it was mother lil brother and me i told you about being kicked out 20 degrees no money to eat yeah. about the thrift stores and being piss poor the christmas is my gifts for us when bro and me discovered that she was wrapping shit up around the house to stick it under the tree damn so, okay, so I like, so that's very interesting. I feel like I'm, okay, I'm curious how this all came about. I'm assuming Corday sent him the verse and M must have heard the verse or M added something at the end. I don't, because he does his whole verse where he kind of raps the way that he wants to rap, does his own thing. And at the end, he does kind of tie into Corday's verse. So I'm assuming he heard it first, uh, but he does tie into it a little bit at the end where he's kind of like, you know, I already told you, I already told you. He talks about his family, his mom is, you know, growing up, things like that. That was actually really, really dope. Um, I like that he did that and tied it in because it did, it did bring a little bit more cohesiveness to the two verses um, once you got to that point. But otherwise, styles are so different style-wise. But I'm, like I said, I might be alone on this. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe, become part of the notification gang so I can let you know when we do more stuff like this. With that said, I got all my stuff down in the description. I appreciate you guys for showing love. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you next video, homies. I got the vision of the grace. I've been living like you claim. I'm that nigga that you isn't, so you hate. Always talking shit about me like you getting what I ain't. But I'm different. You just bitching. Scotty Pippin with the takes, nigga. You should aim for the replay. Dwayne for the beat grace. This shit like Kane on a C tape. Music coming out. It's getting slang to the DJs. And when it comes to bitches, I'm a bang one in each state.